Hello, it's only me. Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, we're going to be discussing the Project Bluebeam conspiracy theory, aka this actually exists. Welcome to another episode of Playing the Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Now, quick disclaimer, this is the first time I've ever stumbled across this channel. Well, actually, I didn't stumble across it. My eldest son sent it to me. But this guy is talking about Project Blue Beam. So, yeah, let's have a look and see what he's got to say. Back in 1990, the scientists that worked for the government and the Illuminati came together and said, what if we could find a way to shoot out and create a gigantic hologram over a country or over a nation or over a continent or over the entire world? <sighs> Easy, Tiger. I can't get a word in edgeways. Anyway, it's my video, so I'm going to talk. What is Project Blue Beam? <laughs> Project Blue Beam is a conspiracy theory that claims that NASA... Is why is it always NASA? is attempting to start a new age religion with the anarchist at its head to start a new world order. Right, go on, it's your turn again now. To fool society into believing whatever we want them to see in the sky. Now these allegations were presented in 1994 by journalist and conspiracy theorist Serge Monast. And he later on published his book, Project Bluebeam. Proponents of the theory allege that Monast and another unnamed journalist, who both died of heart attacks in 1996, were in fact assassinated. And that the Canadian government kidnapped Monat's daughter in an effort to dissuade him from investigating Project Bluebeam. And I don't think I was saying his name correctly, but... Nah. Project Bluebeam was supposed to have been implemented in 1983, but it didn't happen. It was then reset for implementation in 1995 or 1996. Monast thought the Project Bluebeam would come to fruition by the year 2000. The whole purpose of this project was to say, what if, for example, we could use the satellites in space to shoot out, for example, a hologram over the entire nation of America of like Jesus in the sky telling society to bow down to like the president. This has gone south quickly. So even though Project Bluebeam is only a conspiracy theory and the Sky Daddy doesn't really exist, you're going to use something that's only theorized to create the image of somebody who didn't exist. I think I can see which way this video is going. For example, let's say right now you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you see Jesus literally in the sky. Everyone can see him. Well, I'm not being rude. I don't mean to pick holes in your argument, obviously, but Jesus didn't exist. So how is he going to appear? Is it only in the sky or could he literally appear anywhere? Oh. And he's saying to bow down to Trump. Do you know how crazy that would be? Everyone would actually believe it. Not everyone. That is what this project was about. Scientists found a way to use the satellites in space to shoot out a 3D hologram into the sky above continents or above the entire world. So by conspiracy theory standards, Project Bluebeam is widely popular on the internet, with many, many web pages dedicated to the subject. And of course, countless YouTube videos explaining it. But actual tangible source material is very very thin to say the least of whatever they want to show us they can fake an alien invasion hint 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 i've got no clue what you mean aliens is a very different topic but uh yeah okay you want an alien invasion <laughs> whatever floats your boat they can fake Jesus in the sky. They can fake Oprah Winfrey giving everyone free computers in the sky. Like they can make whatever they want you guys to see in the actual sky. Well, I for one, I'm glad he said the actual sky because I just thought he was talking about the fake sky. <laughs> it's extremely believable. <sighs> believable may be a bit of a stretch. Well, this guy's name is Mo Othman and I'm just having a little look through his YouTube channel and it seems very Shane Dawson-esque. It's literally chock full of conspiracy theories. Things like meeting my fortune teller, the three main types of conspiracy theory. Have I ever been possessed? The internet thinks I'm a reptilian. So he just seems the type. Is there a type? 
<laughs> and I actually have some video evidence I can show you guys of this working in action. I'm going to show you guys a video of a hologram in China. Now this hologram is literally a floating city over China that happened a few years ago. It was all over the news. Everyone was talking about it. A lot of people thought it was a hoax, saying that the video is not a hoax, that this actually happened. Like this gigantic hologram of a floating city, which I'm going to show you guys in a moment, actually happened. And here it is. Well, that was just a stupid example, wasn't it, Mo? Because things are very easy to fake on video, you know? It's not difficult, you can even do it at home. And yeah, initially it was presumed to be a very rare type of superior mirage called a Fatima Organa, but it's not. It was later proven without a doubt to be completely faked. <laughs> The excuse the Chinese government gave for how a gigantic city somehow appeared above everyone's heads in China was a complete load of baloney. The Chinese government's excuse for this hologram appearing was that there was a lot of fog in China on that day and all of the water droplets in the fog showed a mirror reflection of the city beneath it. Now in Mo's defense, that pretty much is what the Chinese government said. But that was before they knew what was going on. There hasn't been a single eyewitness statement made about this phenomenon because that's what they initially thought, that it was a phenomenon caused by atmospheric conditions. But they didn't know that some dweeby little nerd who was an editing genius had created the whole clip on his computer at home and uploaded it to YouTube. That's where it came from, not Project Bluebeam. Sorry, Mo. <laughs> oh, you mean to tell me that not everything on YouTube is true? My heart broken. <laughs> really? That's the best you can think of? Really? It wasn't that it was the best they could think of. It was a reactionary statement. People were freaking out over it. They had to give some sort of an explanation and it later turned out to be the wrong explanation. Like that, what? Never in my life have I seen a ton of fog either above me or around me and it all of a sudden shows a reflection of what's around it. That's never happened in the history of happening. And you would be quite right, Mo. It has never happened in the history of happening. But that was because it was 100% fake. Keep up, will you? That was just the government at that time testing Project Bluebeam and seeing how society reacted to it. No, it wasn't. I just said what it was. It was a fake video. Why don't these people... People listen to me. Oh yeah, of course they can't hear me. This is, it's not a phone call. <laughs> Another example that's a lot closer to home is 9-11. Now we all know that 9-11 was an inside job and there actually were bombs planted inside of the building to cause them to collapse. But we all agree that planes did actually hit the Twin Towers, right? Now 9-11 is a subject I've shied away from and I still will, but I will briefly address it because this guy's brought it up. Nearly 3,000 people died that day, luckily including the 19 hijackers because they deserved it. And the death toll included the 265 people that were aboard the planes that hit the Twin Towers. So there's something about this conspiracy theory that really bothers me. But what if I said that maybe they weren't? Maybe planes never actually hit the Twin Towers. Well, sorry Mo, but I would say that you're a disrespectful piece of crap because all 265 of the people aboard those planes had families. I've actually spoken to somebody who lived very close by to somebody that was killed in the 9-11 attacks. And I'm sure that if you were to say to his family it was all faked, they would just laugh it off and carry on with their day. Because here's something we have to remember. In the rubble and in all of the garbage and the metal debris that fell that the construction workers had to clean after the Twin Towers collapsed, there was no evidence of a plane. Nothing. No wings, no chairs, nothing. There was zero evidence of a plane. And when society questioned about where is the like rubble from the plane, all the government said was, oh, it all burned up. Like, which is a load of bullshit because there has to be something that still remains. But yet there wasn't. And this is the exact same scenario with the Pentagon. The Pentagon was supposedly hit by a plane, but there was absolutely no evidence or rubble from the plane. No pieces of the plane were ever found. Ah, 
I see that Mo does all his research on YouTube, like all other good, responsible conspiracy theorists. There was parts of the plane found, like for example, this piece of the landing gear, which was found wedged between two of the demolished buildings. It's actually part of the landing gear, and it had a Boeing serial number on there that was cross-referenced with the airline that owned the plane, and was proven to be debris from one of the planes that was crashed. Now this item was found a long time after the disaster because of its location, but the, <laughs> there was plenty of debris of the aeroplanes found, as there would be, because they did crash into those buildings. What if the planes that actually hit the Twin Towers was a hologram and they detonated the bomb the moment the hologram smashed into the building? Or, and bear with me here, what if hijacking scumbags hijacked some aeroplanes, flew them directly towards the World Trade Center buildings and crashed into them killing hundreds of people. How about that, Mo? And that's why everyone fell for it. Because if you look at the way the planes hit the Twin Towers, it doesn't look natural at all. What? Of course it didn't look natural. Two passenger airliners crashed into buildings. There's nothing natural about that at all, is there, you idiot? The whole point of Project Bluebeam is to basically deceive society into believing whatever they show us. Because like I said earlier, if they wanted like Jesus to appear in the sky and tell everyone to start killing each other, people would probably start killing each other because people are crazy. People are crazy. <laughs> Surely not. Present company excluded, obviously. So, what do you think? Project Bluebeam. Is there something in it, or is it just yet another insane conspiracy theory? Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thanks very much for watching. If it's your first time here, don't forget to give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications. I'm the Creepy Blinder, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.